Good morning. Welcome to Kochi Prefecture. This is Kochi City, and I'm standing in front of a very unique bakery. It's called Dinberu. And Rimbel is the place where this unique bread, only found here in Kochi Prefecture, or it was at least created here in Kochi Prefecture, kind of a melon pond gone wrong. I'll explain a little bit about the history. This is Boshi Pan. It is that hat bread that I wore maybe last year, if you remember a live stream I did in, here in Kochi. I found this bread that had um, a top to it, like a rounded top to it, and then it had a rim which is pretty unique. I'm like, what is this? And then it, it said boshi pan, and boshi in Japanese is hat. So you could kind of wear it. And this place used to make these gigantic ones where the rim of the hat was just like, I don't know, I'll show you. But we're gonna go inside here. They've given me access to film inside of the bakery and to take a look around. Uh, Nagano-san is the owner here. And um, they've actually, unfortunately, finished the production of the meron pan, uh, the uh, boshi pan. <laughs> so I can only take you inside the bakery. But Rin Bell is the name of this place. How you doing, Eugene Hobart? Ranjit's here. Carrie, nice to see everybody. Julie, Andy, Morgan. Yeah! All right. It's a good opening. Now this is the mascot to the boshi pan. I like it how he seems to be flying with his hat. He's a very happy man, but you can see the shape of the boshi pan, and I want, to, I want you to keep that in mind. He's wearing what I will be eating. So there's a new meaning to the words, eat your hat. All right, let's go inside Rimbao. Please signal, stay strong. It is open from 7 a.m. to 6. We came here at 7. They were already finished with it, but it's pretty cool that we have access to film in here. Um, they don't just make boshi pan, they've got curry donuts. They've got takoyaki pan, which is takoyaki that is shaped like bread, which is really cool. It's, a, it's an amazing concept. And we'll try to, we'll try to buy some of these and, and eat it, of course. This is a vegetable pizza pan. No way, no way. Do you see this? This is a smiley face. Only in Japan. That's a cream pond. I gotta buy one of those for Kanai. Take it back. I like this. This is breakfast pond. They basically put an egg and a slice of bacon on a piece of bread. Oh, it smells so delightful. You have no idea the smells that are coming through here. I'm sending it your way through smell vision This is meat sauce Danish. Just the ideas are so original. This is a, um, a, like a fluffy dome. Saku Saku Meron Pan on the top here. It's crunchy, this Meron Pan, like a cookie top. And this is Boshi Pan. You can see the top of it. It's like a dome and around it, the rim. Um, I'd like to say it's a castella, castella. It's, it's a kind of bread that came from Europe, but I thought it was like a custard, melted custard, but they said it's Castilla, so um, it's actually a menon pond gone wrong. Linda, thank you. I will get some for Kanai and Jeff Ang. You better believe I'm gonna take a bunch of it into my suitcase there. We're going straight to the airport after this. So um, I'm gonna get a couple of these, but Nagano-san has given us access to take a look into the bakery and uh, we can see behind the scenes here inside of a Japanese bakery. Uh, this is a, one that's been in operation since the 1950s which is really uh, interesting. I think it's the same location. This one is a whip sandal sandwich. So it's a whipped cream sandwich. Two things that should go together so beautifully. This is a, a magarin roll or a margarine roll. So health, health nuts probably might not want to get this, but margarine's creamy. So yeah, yeah. I like this one. This is a, a bacon epi. It's very stylish and delicious. Hey, Jennifer French, welcome to a Japanese bakery. Nice to have you aboard. Over here, and the tongs and the plates and the trays. This is also, when you first enter, you should swish swish with alcohol, which I'll do right now. 
directly in your hands. Yeah. And over here we have some other concoctions. This is a wiener dog. I'm not sure exactly what... Oh, there's a hot dog inside there with all, all this, but they make it very pre presentable. That's just a typical hot dog. Oh, this looks so good. This is a sweet chicken dog. And they put some karage. My favorite delicious, scrumptious, juicy karage pieces in a sweet, savory sauce with, I guess that looks like egg salad on there. Nice. There's some yakisoba pan, which is yakisoba noodles with inside of bread. A smart idea. And then here's here's these. I, I, I actually look think that the mini Boshipan looks maybe the best. Again, the history of this is really interesting. In 1955, uh, they were trying to make Meron Pan, which is that, that pan with the crunchy top. Yeah. And the Meron Pan um, kind of went wrong. Somebody forgot to put that sugary cookie stuff on the top of it. And instead it melted around the rim of it. And this mistake created this. Now, of course, over the years they perfected the recipe and eventually they came up with this, which is not just that cookie crunch, but it's got some kind of a cake crunchiness to it, which is really good. And it looks like a hat. And that name Boshipan or hat bread did not come from the bakery, but the customers decided that that's what it was gonna be called. Now it could also be called the UFO pan, but uh, pan meaning bread in Japanese, but I'm guessing that that might have been taken by something else. Whoa, this looks so good. Mountain sando. This is called a mountain sandwich. Oh, what's that? It's like just cream and chocolate. Why? Uh, this is a variety you don't see very much. This is the chocolate boshi pan uh, for those that like brown hats. Yeah, Astro Boy's drooling. All right, let's go inside and take a look at the boshi pan or bakery items being made. Boshi pan. いいですか。今何作ってますか。Let's oh. go inside of the back of the bakery here. I have the signal. Stay strong. But right now they are making some shokupan, which is uh, loaves of bread, and it's pretty interesting to go around the bakery. Ah, ohayogozaimasu. Wow, loads of bags of flowers. That's awesome. And you can see they make everything here in-house. Those are the best bakeries. You have no idea how good it smells in here. Just a sweetness, yeast and sugar. Oh. But Japanese bread, Japanese uh, baked items are always very unique. Rather than that hard crunch of a baguette in France, they like the softness of it crunchy on the outside and a softness to the center, but sometimes it's a little bit too soft. Uh, but I think there's a little bit of everything here in J Japanese bakeries, and it's about the variety. Hey, Ken Rutley's here from Halifax. There's Kiara Filman as well. And Wong Jeff, Jeffex. From Toronto. You better believe I'm getting something delicious for tonight. Oh, that just came out of the oven. Hello, meat pie. What is that? Oh, it smells so good. What's inside there? I want to put my hand in there. Oh, it's nice. They're mixing something. Look at that massive industrial mixer. That's the top of the boshipan. Oh! Oh, this is the top of the boshipan. Interesting. So it is like a custard. It is like that's the top of the boshipan, the rim.
Oh, sugar, flour, and egg. That can be a song. Sugar, flour, and egg. Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Wow. So they're gonna be making some boshi pan really, really soon. Look at them over there. They're working really hard, oiling up the trays. This is the morning, just getting set. Now in Japan, bakeries typically don't open until, I don't know why, but until like 10 a.m. This one opens more on, on normal bakery time, which is morning. Whoa, he's putting in the massive bags of yeast. Where's the flour? Flour. That's so awesome. Boshipan? Base. That's awesome. All right. Some people are saying that there's a lag. Sorry. All right. I'll be back in. I'll be back inside of there for a, for a second. Uh, somebody was. I saw that on the. I think inside of the kitchen there might be a, a kind of a lag in there, um, but uh, Kiara's in there taking some um, 4K video of it, and I'll see if I can upload some of that going. So go and try to refresh your screen now. I'm back outside from inside of that inside of that locker, but you could really smell uh, the bread there. So what I'm going to do right now is go and get a boshi pan to try for you. So let's try one here. I'm gonna go for the mini bushy pond. ニアですかあ、ニアよし。So I thought since I took you in there to take a look a little bit about at the boshi pond inside the kitchen, I don't know how the signal was in there. Um, we'll film this a little bit uh, later in 4K. We got black screen. Oh no. Welcome back. We had the black screen. I'm not quite sure why. Hope we're back again. But I have bought one of these boshi pond here. I'm always here for you. You can see, um, the rim of it is this really kind of slightly chewy, but a little bit crunchy, kind of custard flavor Castella cake. And on the top, you have what is considered the top part of the hat. Um, I'm examining this like a scientist would, looking and turning it in my hand. But can, can, this, can this replace a hat. Now, I've heard there's a legend that this bakery has created hat bread where the rim was this big, where they just completely went crazy with the rim. I would like to come back and see that. Oh, this one's got a thicker rim to it.
This is interesting. It's sweet. It's got a really, check it out. It does look like a cookie, this one here. This is different. All right. I, I don't, I don't know if it's a, if it's a replacement or. But give us a try here. Mmm. What makes this really good is the consistency. There's two. I just shampooed my hair. Come on. The consistency. They're totally different. This is um, kind of like the melon pond without that crunchiness. And this is just like a, like a cookie cake. Oh! I discovered inside there's some sort of filling. It's interesting, right? So there's two consistencies. You see the rim, and then you see inside there white bread, but it's like empty in there, like a dome. And there's some sort of goodness in the middle of it. What is that? Wayne Grover from, from the UK. They were my go-to breakfast items in Japan. They do have curry pond. They have takoyaki pond too, by the way. Some unusual breads there. Yeah. Brendan Walker's here. Time for some dapper pastry hats. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in back into the kitchen, but I might have to film this in 4K and just upload this later because the signal inside of the kitchen is not very good. I tried to go in there earlier and it was uh, not ideal. I will totally uh, Wong. I'm getting some stuff for for Kanai. You better believe it. Ramsey Salad, how you doing, Tim? Flowers for someone we all know, but I was never here. Linda and Jeff and Eugene, much appreciated. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish this up. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, uh, I don't know, should I buy some more items? Oh, it's on. Red bean paste. What a morning. It's happiness. That is pure happiness. I'll take you in one more time to take a look at some of the baked items, but it's very hard to go inside the inside the kitchen because the signal dies out. Hmm. I do like the rim, and they told me that you could actually just buy the rim. I'm down for that. Cheryl MP writes, I love your passion for the hat bread. So, at this time, if you want to, write in where you're from. If you've never chatted before or given me a message, feel free to do an easy one. Where are you watching from?
So what, a couple more items here. I'm very curious about this takoyaki pan. And, and for those that do like kare pan, they do have that here too. Right there. And this one looks like it's just been baked. Oh. This one says it's also quite spicy. But the curry donuts are amazing. Uh, the goma donuts, you see that? They're also quite good, and usually they got like a mochi mochi and a crunchiness to it. And then the chocolate whipped donuts, which uh, could be like a Boston cream pie, except without the cream. It's more like a whip. But I, I will be bringing back one of these smiley faces for Kanai. They, that just, you have to bring back a smile from... Smile from Kochi. Mmm. Yeah, American bakeries are pretty good too, but they're not, it's not part of the culture too as much as it is here in Japan. I guess this is something we kind of ripped off from France and made it, we Japanified it. This is a, a Ichigo strawberry jam, Danish. And everything is in, in, uh, in uh, plastic wrap because of the times that we live in. Mm. So there you go, this is the bakery here. Um, I'm gonna get some videos in 4K and sort of film uh, them making the boshi pan. But again, this is a, a, a bread that they created in 1955 by mistake. It was supposed to be a metal pan and they didn't make it. They kind of melted around the sides and over the years they perfected the recipe and it is only in Kochi. I hope that they make the ones with the massive rims that look like a hat. When they do, I'll be back. But the history of the Boshi Pan lives on strong in this bakery. Ah, that was good. Any questions? Today I'm going to be returning back to, to Tokyo on an ANA flight in about an hour and a half from now. You don't have to check. You can check into your flight until um, 45 minutes before, which is crazy, right? But even in this time, the efficiency of Japan to get you from check-in all the way to the gate is incredible. Security, I've never waited more than 10 minutes. Just think about that. And you can bring on liquid water bottles onto through security for domestic flights in Japan. I don't know how they do it. It's just, it's incredible to me. So to sum this up here, put a little ribbon on everything. This is the bakery in Kochi. This is the bakery. It's been here since the, since the 1950s, I believe. It might have moved locations, but, uh, or it might have moved buildings. But Rimbel is the founder of the Boshipan and that could be me holding the baguettes and coffee one day. Could be you too, if you come here and enjoy a boshi pan. Beautiful streets of Kochi. As kids head to school and John needs another boshi pan. Any questions? I'm here for you. Did you all watch the uh, um, Buddha sunglasses video on the on the new Only in Japan main channel. That was a really good video. That took me that took a long time to edit that one up, make it nice and perfect. I, I I'm probably gonna buy some of the takoyaki bread and some of the the smiley cream pan and then uh, get some video right now of them baking it, and I'll try to make it into a Japanese bakery episode, but this is an important part of the Japanese bakery experience, I believe. You gotta get some boshi pan in there, right? There's some history to it. So, boshi pan, I'm gonna be filming that for a bakery episode, which will probably be coming sometime in, in the early 2021. So Rim Bakery deserves a shout out. 
Thanks guys so much for, for watching me eat some boshi pan. And uh, if you do come to Kochi, or you come to Shikoku, or you go to Marugoto Kochi in the store in Ginza, you'll be able to find boshi pan uh, in Ginza um, at, that, at the Marugochi, the Kochi store that I was live streaming in about a month ago. But it all comes from here. And this is the famous boshi pan of Kochi. They actually have a sign for it. How awesome is that? Have a good day, everybody. Have a good night. I will see you all uh, probably later uh, tonight. Last night I filmed an episode because I've, I've been uploading so many videos onto the channel. I didn't want to upload the last night walking in an old house. So I'm going to see if I can edit that up a little bit and make it a strovey and release it maybe tonight or tomorrow night. Kind of a Halloween feeling to it. A little bit spooky. Something happened inside there that might have done it. It's an old Edo period, uh, end of like early Meiji period house. So uh, that's where we stayed. Raymond Centeno, you got it, buddy. I'll get, uh, trust me, Kanai's gonna have a basket of bread from Kochi. Absolutely. And RJ, welcome, new traveler. Thanks, guys, for signing up. I like to see everybody from all around the world. A lot of Canadians here. It's awesome. All right, folks, have a good day. Have a good night. See you later from Kochi Prefecture. I really enjoyed my time here, and I'm coming back here in December to finish off an episode that I started to film while I was here. Bye-bye from Rinbel, land of Boshpan. Yum, yum.